So welcome everybody. Um, day four today. We'll just do a quick recap of what uh, we have heard so far. This is the list of contents that we have been through. I won't go over each and every one because um, we'll do a little bit of the recap um, of you know the parts that were just done more recently. We are already familiar with this. This recap was already done uh, to some extent. And uh, today we'll be doing um, harmony in society. I will be doing the lecture seven in this session. And then the further ones will be later um, in the next session after that. So yesterday we looked at harmony in the family and we talked of these four statements about relationship and the feelings in relationship, starting with the feeling of trust. We talked of these four statements that the relationship is between oneself and another self. There are feelings in the self. We can recognize these feelings and when we fulfill these feelings, when we ensure them from our side, fulfill them, in the relationship and evaluate whether it has reached the other, it leads to happiness in the other also. Um, then we looked at all the feelings one by one, starting with the foundation feeling of, foundation value of trust. Trust that the other wants to make me happy. And we saw how we often, you know, um, look at the natural acceptance for ourselves that we want to make ourselves happy and the other happy but when it comes to the other we are looking at the competence part the ability part and seeing that they are lacking in ability and thinking that they don't want to or you know the intention is wrong but when we become aware that um, you know, the intention is the same for all and the ability varies. So when I look at the other person, I have to remember that what I'm seeing in the behavior is their ability. That is their competence. That is not their intention. And I can see that if they are lacking in competence, when I see myself, I am also lacking somewhere in competence. So the fair comparison would be to look at the ability for both of us. So when I do that, then I'm also able to see that just like my intention is pure, the other's intention is also pure. Just like I want to make myself happy, the other also wants to make me happy. And uh, with that clarity, I have trust on the intention of the other. So that we talked of in trust. Then we looked at respect. In respect, we were looking more closely at the right evaluation of the competence for everybody. So to begin with, to see that at the level of the natural acceptance, our purpose is the same and our program for this purpose of achieving happiness and prosperity is the same for all, that we need to understand the harmony and live in harmony at all the levels. And our potential for that is also the same. Potential at the level of the self that we all have this natural acceptance and we all have the imagination going on con continuously within us. So in the, you know, if you look at our purpose, our program, our potential, for all of us, it is similar. So the other is similar to me. But there is a difference, like we noticed, you know, we are looking at the evaluation of the competence. Now the competence varies. So when I look at the evaluate, when I evaluate the competence of the other, I also evaluate my own competence. I do a right evaluation of the competence for both. And I I can see that our competences may be different, but 
we need not differentiate because of this we can be complementary to each other so if the other person has more competence than me that means has more understanding than me is more responsible than me then i can try to understand from the other if i see that i have more understanding i am more responsible than the other then i should live with responsibility with the other person and even if the other person doesn't show the right behavior i can understand that the other person's competence is lacking so i am not disturbed by the other person's misbehavior so unconditionally i live with responsibility and i am able to see that it is not their intention there is a problem with it is their competence their competence is lacking so what can i do to help them i can try to help them have better understanding i can work for that once the other is assured in the relationship and that is only going to happen when my behavior is um definite so um that would be the complete content of respect not just that the other is similar to me but also that we are complementary to each other so we talked about this also yesterday and then we went on to look at some of the other feelings feeling of affection care guidance and then reverence glory gratitude and uh, we had some discussion also about this so reverence the feeling of reverence is for those who have you know already achieved this excellence excellence meaning those who have understood the harmony and they are living in harmony at all the levels that means they they have harmony within themselves continuously they have harmony in the family in the society and they are living in harmony with nature also so for those who have achieved this excellence for them we have a feeling of reverence then there are those who are making effort for excellence haven't not haven't uh, quite reached or uh, you know haven't really reached the point of completeness of right understanding so they are making effort they are on the path but haven't reached the end yet for them i have a feeling of glory when it comes to gratitude we mentioned that those who are making effort for my excellence for them we have a feeling of gratitude and then we spoke of love the feeling of being related to all which is the complete value this would include not just human beings but all units in nature each and every unit so when i feel my relatedness to all then i am having that feeling of love and that becomes the foundation of the undivided society so we can go from family to world family in this way when we you know are able to fulfill the human human relationships when we do justice to the relationships and there is mutual happiness then it can be like a very large family not just our individual family but the world family and undivided society